Hi everybody, Mike from RMT Family. In this video, I'm gonna take the Chevy Bolt out just for a short drive on a really cold morning, just to see how it does, how uh, the restrictions are, or if there are any restrictions on acceleration or regeneration. I also have the OBD reader with me so we can look at the battery temperatures as well. Let's go. The car has been sitting here for about 40 hours. I was parked a couple of days ago. That day it was driven about 60 miles, 30 of that in the morning, the other 30 in the afternoon. The car was back here by 4 p.m. And been sitting here and it's been nicely cold. We had continuous snowfall, uh, no sun, and the temperatures last night or actually the night before, were in the single digits. So we were at a low of about seven degrees. It didn't warm up very much during the day. And then this morning it is minus nine degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, we haven't opened the car, preheated the car or anything, but it has been plugged in. So it could do whatever it wanted to do. So I'm gonna unplug the car and uh, get in there, plug the OBD in and see what it's doing. I just noticed the green light was kind of blinking there real quick. Not sure what's going on. Or maybe it's the little orange light that's along with the green light that's blinking. Not sure what that means. If somebody knows what that orange light means while the green light is on, uh, hey, let me know down in the comments, please, because I don't. Oh. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that, but I think the battery heater just came on. Maybe that's what all the blinking was about. Uh, we can check here real quick. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. It says 10.7 amps on there. There we go. So the battery heater just came on. So let's get in here real quick. It may have sense that I'm here with the key. There's the OBD. Okay. All right. So, uh, sure enough, the tablet froze up, but right as I got in here, um, I couldn't get to the app and the battery heat has been going. So battery coolant's already up to 55 degrees. Battery temperature average is 33.8 so the battery wasn't actually really cold. I'm pretty sure that battery heater has been going It shows here ambient air for below uh, Zero Fahrenheit which again, I think uh, it gets some residual heat from the car from the battery pack as our weather station shows nine below and uh, Comparing to all the temperatures around us uh, It is definitely nine below outside um, inverter temperature is 12 degrees, battery state of charge 73. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure electronics temp shows 206 degrees. That sounds a, seems a little high, not sure. Um, can't be that high. Cabin heat's pulling 7500 watts right away as I turn it on. Battery coolant pump speed is running. Um, so, and uh, here it so, shows 78 seconds for battery heater inactive, but this may uh, 
or this is not the correct number anymore as I had this uh, shut down here and turn back on and thing and it just didn't work out quite as planned. I wanted to see how cold that battery really is. Um, it doesn't seem to be very cold because the battery temp like, like we can see here is 33.8 degrees and the battery coolant is uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit so that's uh, 10 degrees Celsius so it's already uh, warmed up and battery heat here shows zero again so this number down here is since this turned off and this was on when I came to the car and it heated it up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit according to this which is a battery temp of 33.8 Fahrenheit so um, we got showing here 119 miles we're using currently one kilowatt so I'm gonna drive the car real quick just to see if there is any restrictions in uh, power or regeneration that I could tell by driving it. So, can't see out the windshield though. I need to clean that off real quick and then I'll hop back in and we'll drive it. It's all pretty crunchy here, pretty frozen. So on the dash, I don't see any restrictions of any kind. Go up the road here. Super slick this morning. Car's going pretty good here. We're accelerating no problem. Now well, we're getting a good amount of reach and See if we can warm that battery up pretty quick by accelerating relatively hard. And we got great traction going here. Uh, Bridgestone Blizzax, by the way, great tire. Michelin XIs, great tire. Been running them for years on many different cars. Uh, this is, is what we drive on is snow covered, frozen, icy roads all winter long. And uh, it does great. No problem with regen. Um, I use single pedal driving all the time. So I control the regen only by the pedal, which I think is the way to go. Everything else I don't think is anything. <coughs> but uh, that's just my opinion. If you're driving an EV, let me know what you think about single pedal driving down below in the comments. I think it is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I would never drive an electric car without single pedal driving. That really sucks. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going pretty good here. We can accelerate really nice. Reach and kicks in really good. We get 54 kilowatts right there. I don't know that there is a restriction in reach and. Let's see, let's accelerate again. And we're getting great reach and so nine degrees below zero and I do not notice any issues of any kind. I can accelerate, I can reach in. It just drives the same way if it would be 50 or 60 degrees out. Unlike a gas car that would be struggling right now that I would have to slowly warm up and get it going actually I probably would have had the gas car plugged in with a pl 
uh, with a block heater so that the coolant would heat up and the engine would warm up so that it would start smoothly since at 9 below 12 volt battery may be struggling to start the gas car but here we're going pretty good and let's see Made 50 kilowatts there on Ring Chen, no problem. <clears throat> and it's a good thing this car has a steering wheel heat because I forgot to bring my gloves and I would be freezing by now. I don't have the heat turned up, the, the heater is on for the cabin but the blower is off and you can maybe see over here the window is fogged up on the inside because the blower is down <coughs> or I have it set to one maybe I should turn it up a little there we go turned it up to three so that the car doesn't fog up completely So, and if you can see over here, right there, that yellow line going down towards the minimum, that is indicating that we're most likely driving less than 114 miles. We're most likely be more at the 93 miles, the way we're currently driving with the heat on. The heat is huge consumption, as I always say. Preheat your car while it's plugged in in the winter time. This way you don't lose the range or not as much range because if the car's already warm, the heat it doesn't need to run as much. Let's give it another go here. Aha! We lost a little traction, but we're speeding up like hell. And we get 52 kilowatts there in reach in. <clears throat> I don't see any restriction here in regards to driving. So I'm gonna turn around up here, go back home, or I'm gonna stop real quick and we look at the stats on the tablet. See what it shows. There we go. <clears throat> Let's look here. So battery temperature didn't change. Battery coolant on the other hand came down. Um, cabin heat still going full blast. Inverted temp 14 degrees freezing cold. The battery coolant pump is running. Um, and the battery heater has been inactive. Well, basically since we started, it hasn't come back on since. So I think it relies completely on the driving to warm up the battery at this point. All right, so um, we drove real quick 4.2 miles up here, used 2.3 kilowatts, and I've been uh, forcing it pretty good. So we used a lot of energy for driving and very little there a purple section for actually heating but I'm gonna drive back home and we'll check the stats again real quick at home
Okay, I made it back home. So it's been doing really great. There was no issue with this car driving in the cold. We used 4.8 kilowatt hours real quick uh, in 9.5 miles. Um, 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour average chose there. I've been forcing it pretty good. So, but you can see heating came up because I turned the blower on on the way home. So uh, heating is a big one. Can't stress enough, preheat your car in cold climates while it's plugged in before you drive. Battery temperature, 32 degrees right at the freezing point. Ambient here it shows 5.8 or 5.8 below zero which like I said the car seems to show a little higher than it really is. Battery coolant is only 23 degrees. Uh, state of charge dropped to 65. Cabin heater still going at 7300. Battery pump, coolant pump is still going. And the battery heater has not come on since it was on right when I got to the car. So this was just a quick little test since it was nine below. I thought I'll take advantage of this. I think it's not an issue to drive an electric car in the cold whatsoever. It does great. Um, no restrictions on this car. So again, this is a perfect daily driver, I think. Uh, any time of the year and definitely cold climates. All right, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of different videos about uh, Montana, our ranch here in Montana, real estate video for Montana, the electric car videos, all kinds of different stuff. But even, even if you only come for the electric car stuff, please subscribe uh, to our channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.